Ah, hello there, traveler. Come to the night gate for food or lodging? I heard tell of a lad in Windhelm, Aventus Aretino. They say he's been doing the Black Sacrament, trying to contact the Dark Brotherhood. Damn fool. Then it's true, what everyone is saying. That Aventus Aretino is doing the Black Sacrament? Trying to summon the Dark Brotherhood? Oh, Grimbar. Always with the nonsense. No, no, of course not. Those are just tales. Fine. Then I'll invite him out to play. He lives right there. I'm going to knock on his door. No, child. Wait! That boy, that house, they are cursed. Ha! Then I'm right. I knew it. He's trying to have somebody killed. All right. I won't deny it, child. What you heard is true. But Aventus Oratino walks a dark path. His actions can lead only to ruin. Now, enough. We will speak no more of this. I am the only friend you need. Mother, send your child unto me, for the sins of the unworthy must be baptized in blood and fear. Finally! My prayers have been answered! It worked! I knew you'd come! I just knew it! I did the Black Sacrament over and over with the body and the things, and then you came! An assassin from the Dark Brotherhood! It took so long, so very long. But now that you're here, you can accept my contract. My mother, she, she died. I, I'm all alone now. So they sent me to that terrible orphanage in Riften, Honor Hall. The headmistress is an evil, cruel woman. They call her Grella the kind, but she's not kind. She's terrible to all of us. So I ran away and came home and performed the Black Sacrament. Now you're here, and you could kill Grelob the Kind! Clear. Yes, yes Grillid. And one more thing. I will hear no more talk of adoptions. None of you riffraff is getting adopted, ever. Nobody needs you. Nobody wants you. That, my darlings, is why you're here. Why you will always be here. Until the day you come of age and get thrown into that wide, horrible world. Now, what do you all say? We, we love, love you, Grillid. Thank, Thank you for your kindness. Your kindness. Your kindness. It's Grilla! Oh. <laughs> Hooray! We love you, Dark Brotherhood! Mercy! <laughs> well? Grow up the kind. Is she, you know? Aha! I knew you could do it! I just knew it! I knew the Dark Brotherhood would save me! Here, just like I promised. This should fetch you a nice price. Uh, thank you. Thank you again! I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Yeah, got this note. Don't know. Creepy fella. Black robe. Couldn't see his face. Paid me a pretty sum to get that into your hands, though. Looks like that's it. Got to go.
I think I've got a clean mug around here. Somewhere. Got some fresh baked bread and good cheese if you're after a bite to eat. Sure thing. It's yours for a day. I'll show you to your room. Right this way. Let me know if there's anything else you need. Sleep well? Does it matter? You're warm, dry, and still very much alive. That's more than can be said for old Grelod, hmm? Half of Skyrim knows. Old hag gets butchered in her own orphanage. Things like that tend to get around. Oh, but don't misunderstand. I'm not criticizing. It was a good kill. Old Crone had it coming. And you saved a group of urchins to boot. But there is a slight... Mm, problem. You see, that little Aretino boy was looking for the Dark Brotherhood. For me, and my associates. Grelod the Kind was, by all rights, a Dark Brotherhood contract. A kill that you stole. A kill you must repay. Well now, funny you should ask. If you turn around, you'll notice my guests. I've collected them from... Well, that's not really important. The here and now. That's what matters. You see, there's a contract out on one of them, and that person can't leave this room alive. But, oh, which one? Go on. See if you can figure it out. Make your choice. Make your kill. I just want to observe and admire. Am I to take your silence as acceptance? Then you know where we stand. Make your kill and we're square. Repayment of your debt is but a discreet knife thrust away. off of me. None of your damn business who I am. If you're going to kill me, just do it already. Esmara is my witness. If I didn't have this hood on right now, I would spit right in your face. I don't have time for this nonsense. I've got a home to keep in Whoever this here. is, clearly we got off on the wrong foot. Out of here. Ah, but no worries. This is not the first time I have been bagged and dragged. Ah, Varsha, at your service. Obtainer of goods, taker of lives, and defiler of daughters. Have you not heard of me? Perhaps I will have my people carve my name in your corpse as a reminder. Me? <laughs> Are you serious? The real question is, would someone pay to have me killed again? A day goes by without someone trying to cut me in the street. I get disappointed. Tell you what, you release me and I promise my associates will not cut you down like an animal. I, I can hear you talking out there. Please let me go. I've done nothing to you. My name is Fulltime. I'm a soldier. Well, mercenary, really. You know, a, a, a sellsword. I've lived in Skyrim all my life. That's all. I'm a nobody, really. So, can't you just let me go? What? Oh, God. I don't want to die. Okay, well... I guess it's possible. 
I've been selling my sword arm for years now. Killed a lot of people. Could be someone wanted revenge. But, uh, but you're not going to kill me, right? Ah! What did I do? Please, whatever it is, I'm sorry. Come now, whatever the problem, we can talk about it like civilized folk, hmm? Overachiever. Three possibilities, three victims. Must have been one of them, right? So why take chances? Oh, no, no, no. Don't you understand? Guilt, innocence, right, wrong? Irrelevant. What matters is I ordered you to kill someone, and you obeyed. Of course. And you've repaid your debt in full. Here's the key to the shack. But why stop here? I say we take our relationship to the next level. I would like to officially extend to you an invitation to join my family. The Dark Brotherhood. In the southwest reaches of Skyrim, in the Pine Forest, you'll find the entrance to our sanctuary. It's just beneath the road, hidden from view. When questioned by the black door, answer with the correct passphrase, Silence, my brother. Then you're in, and your new life begins. I'll see you at home. At last. I hope you found the place all right. Well, what happens now is you start your new life in the Dark Brotherhood. You're part of the family, after all. This, as you can see, is our sanctuary. You won't find a safer place in all of Skyrim. So get comfortable. Our family, my dearest. Our family. Together, united as one, the Dark Brotherhood can accomplish anything. But you must be anxious to get to work. I'm arranging a job, but need a bit more time. For now, go see Nazir. He's got several smaller contracts. Soon, the Night Mother will arrive. And things around here are sure to get even more interesting. Ah, but one last thing. A welcome home present. The armor of the Dark Brotherhood. May it serve you well in all your... endeavors. <laughs> again, again. To the part where he tries to find his Oh, you're such a pretty little girl. Would the sweetie like a sweetie? Oh, yes. How about some chocolate? Oh, yes, please, kind sir. My mama and papa left me all alone, and I'm so very hungry. I know a shortcut to the candy shop. 
through this alley. Oh yeah, very good, very good. Mine is dark down here. Oh, but you're so beautiful, such a lovely smile. Your teeth! No! No bad bad, but you are so wicked. What about you, Festus? How did that last contract turn out? Oh, yes. Please, old man. Regale us with your tales of wizardry. Ah, the young and stupid. Always mocking the experienced and brilliant. My contract went very well, I'll have you know. Tried a new spell. Little something I've been working on in my spare time. Came this close to turning that priest inside out. Damned messy. What of your latest, Arnbjorn? Something about a Khajiit. Merchant, was it? Oh, a big doggy kissing a little kitty. How adorable. <laughs> <laughs> I am not adorable. It was not funny, and he wasn't a merchant. He was a Khajiit monk, a master of the Whispering Fang style. But now he's dead, and I have a new loincloth. <laughs> Your latest exploit certainly has the sanctuary talking. Red room contact. So you're the newest member of our dwindling, dysfunctional little family. I've heard quite a bit about you. It's the part with the severed head I find most. Ooh. Hockey. I give you three days before you screw up and someone runs a knife across your throat. But who knows? I've been proven wrong before. Did she now? Well, as it turns out, there are a few lingering contracts we haven't had the chance to complete just yet. And more, dribbling in from time to time. I'll assign them to you as they become available, to be completed at your leisure. It is. These aren't particularly glamorous assassinations, I'll be honest. Don't pay much either. But they'll keep you busy. Just do them as you're able. There's no real time limit. The targets aren't going anywhere. You can turn each one in as it's completed, or wait and turn in the whole group when all the targets have been eliminated. Whichever works for you. Well then, let's get started. I've got three available right now. Your targets are the beggar Narfi, an ex-miller named Enodius Papias, and Baytild, a mind boss. When you've completed all those, we'll see if I might have some more. Ah, well, I'm Redguard, as I'm sure you've noticed. Though not like most of my kind you'll find in Skyrim, that's for damn sure. I am a child of Hammerfell, born of the sands of the mighty Alakir. In that great desert, blood is a shade of crimson I can scarce describe. My past is long and storied, and not altogether proud. But the Dark Brotherhood saved me from myself, and I have never looked back. You've got people to kill, my friend. Best to get to it. Welcome, my brother. Welcome to our sanctuary. You have made the right choice joining us, I assure you. You just trust in Astrid, follow her orders, You'll do fine here. Once I was a Shadow Scale, an assassin in service to the King of Black Marsh, trained by the Dark Brotherhood since the day of my hatching. Ah, but that was a lifetime ago. Today, I am the last of my kind. My order is extinct. Now, I happily serve Astrid in this sanctuary. I am a trained killer, and once again have been given purpose. Life is good. Stay safe.
true. To kill triplets secretly and then have the whole thing blamed on a mother. Remarkable. New brother, may I offer my most sincere welcome to our family. You certainly have a strange energy about you. I look forward to following your progress. What a curious question. Well, I enjoy moonlit nights, taking long walks on the beach, knitting, and unicorns. In fact, I once took a seaside stroll on a moonlit night and discovered a unicorn, which I proceeded to stab in the throat with a crochet needle. I'm a woman of refined yet simple tastes. Kill well and often. Yes, yes, you're the new family member. Let's make this easy. Consider me the cranky old uncle nobody talks to. You go your way, I'll go mine. <laughs> go. Incinerate some poor bastard for me. There you are. Astrid's told me all about you. Heard she pulled the old choose your victim gad with you. Ah, huh, I love that I one. About what happened. The You're going to love it here. Well, we have a lot of fun. And we look out for each other, just like any family. <laughs> I'm just a little girl. The Dark Brotherhood killed my mama and papa, and then they took me captive. Please, please help me. <laughs> Rather convincing, don't you think? In truth, I'm no more a little girl than you are. I was once, of course, 300 years ago. Vampirism tends to keep one remarkably fresh. Right then. Well, well. Let me guess. Astrid failed to mention I'm her husband? She has a tendency to do that. Doesn't want the others thinking she plays favorites. Look, if you're trying to get to know me, don't. I don't like you, and I never will. It's nothing personal, but my wife trusts you, and I trust her judgment, so you can't be all bad. Here's all you need to know. I'm a werewolf. I like killing things. I love Astrid. I hate annoying people, and the color blue gives me a headache. Stay safe. I'm afraid I don't have a primary contract for you yet. This sanctuary has been my entire life since I was a young woman. That's when I first discovered my, shall we call it, aptitude for elimination. I had an uncle, you see. He made certain unwanted advances. So I killed him and liked it. Then I killed again, and liked it even more, and so on. I was recruited by the Dark Brotherhood, and have been here ever since. I met my husband, Arnbjorn, rose to leadership, and now, here we are. Used to be the Dark Brotherhood was bound by five tenets, but we stopped following those years ago. All those rules, all that discipline... And look where the Dark Brotherhood ended up. We're the last of our kind, and we live the way we see fit. Bottom line, respect your family. Do that, and everything else will fall into place. Be sure and introduce yourself to your new family members. They're all very eager to meet you. What do you want? No. Oh, by the gods, please no! 
I'll live to drink another day. from me. Not in the mood. State your business or take your leave. I've a mind to run, so if you'll excuse me. Night Mother is mother to all. It is her voice we follow, her will. Would you dare risk disobedience? And surely punishment? Keep talking, little man, and we'll see who gets punished. Oh, be quiet, you great lumbering lapdog. The man has had a long journey. You can at least be civil. Mr. Cicero. I, for one, am delighted you and the Night Mother have arrived. Your presence here signals a welcome return to tradition. Oh, what a kind and wise wizard you are! Sure to earn Our Lady's favor. You and the Night Mother are of course welcome here, Cicero. And you will be afforded the respect deserving of your position as Keeper. Understood? Husband? Huh. Oh, yes, yes, yes! Thank you, thank you, thank you! But make no mistake. I am the leader of this sanctuary. My word is law. Are we clear on that point? Oh, yes, mistress! Perfectly! You're the boss! Ah, there you are. Good. I was done speaking with that muttering fool anyway. We've got some business to discuss. I do indeed. You must go to the city of Markarth and speak with the apothecary's assistant. You'll probably find her in the hag's cure when the shop is open. The girl's been running her mouth. Wants an ex-lover killed. She's apparently performed the Black Sacrament. Her name is Muiri. I need you to talk to her, set up the contract, and carry it out. Just do whatever the contact wishes. Be professional, represent us well, and get the job done. Since it's your first contract, I'll let you keep whatever Muiri pays. She'll be generous, I'm sure. They always are. Take care of the moon. Ah, another member of the family! Hello, hello! So very good to meet you! So polite, so nice! Cicero likes you! The Night Mother is sure to like you too! Oh, we're going to be fast friends! Fast friends!
The Night Mother's crypt in Breville was... desecrated. The Imperial province is ravaged by strife. Nowhere there is safe at present. So Cicero brought Our Lady to her new home. Here, this is the only sanctuary left in all of Skyrim, you see. Such was my honor as keeper. Oh, what? Who is the Night Mother? Oh, oh you jest. <laughs> you jest with gullible Cicero. <laughs> You, of course, know that the Night Mother is our unholy matron. The undying spirit of a great woman who birthed the children of Sithis. And killed them <laughs> in his honor. Hmm. That's like telling you about the cold of space. Or terror of midnight. Sithis is all those things. He is the void. Me? Oh, Cicero is just the keeper. I keep. I look after our matron, you see. The night mother. I keep her clean and protected and... <laughs> Happy. But I am not the listener. Oh, no. <laughs> there is no listener. Not yet. But someday, 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 I pray that one will come to hear her. Say. The words. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Cicero takes care of our lady's body, oils it, preserves it, keeps it safe, makes sure nobody disrespects our matron's coffin. Farewell, farewell. Don't take offense to the nicknames, Morsel. I'm a werewolf. Hard not to think of you as a snack. <laughs> the witless fool and his pet corpse? Take a guess. Yeah, follow my wife's orders, and don't do anything stupid. Take care of yourself, Beefroast. Brother. You must speak to that Moiri woman, correct? I have heard rumors in Windhelm. She was recently implicated in a thievery, along with her lover. The lover will likely be your target. If memory serves me correctly, he leads a group of bandits. So this may be rather interesting for you. Truthfully, I'm not entirely sure. It's not that I don't have the utmost respect for Sithis and the Night Mother and the ancient ways. I do. But I've never been much for religion. I kill because it's what I've been trained to do. It's all I know. So long as Astrid is happy, I'm happy. Brother? Yeah. Just because you're now a professional assassin, don't think you have to skulk around in the dark like a skeever and stab people. Do what I do. Walk up to your target, introduce yourself, Melt their skin off and then run like the wind. <laughs> Works every time. Uh, their arrival is the best thing that's happened to the Sanctuary in years. Astrid is an effective leader, but we've been rudderless for too long. Scrounging for contracts, abandoning the tenants. The Dark Brotherhood has been reduced to a group of common cutthroats. Frankly, it's embarrassing. Right then. It's been quite a boon, looking like a child. No one ever suspects a thing. You're headed to the Hag's Cure, right? It's a good shop. You should examine their wares. Never pass up the chance to buy a good potion. Or poison. And one more thing. 
Have fun. You'll be committing a dark deed, but there's no reason you shouldn't enjoy yourself. You're only young once. Trust me, I know. Two hundred years ago, I would have laid down my life for the unholy matron. But that age is long since past. Astrid is my matron now. You're being sent to meet with a contact directly, is that correct? What a most unusual occurrence. Astrid usually performs this duty herself. I can only assume she wants to test the full breadth of your abilities. So be polite and professional and represent us well. Without the Night Mother, there is no Dark Brotherhood. The Matron deserves our unwavering support and respect. Though I admit, I find her keeper a bit too exuberant for my liking. Walk always in the shadow of cities. I see you're back from Dawnstar. Bay Tilt lies dead, I hope. Good. And I hope you were careful in that lumber mill. Those splinters and rusty nails can be quite nasty. Your payment for a job well done. Congratulations. You slaughtered an emaciated beggar in cold blood. You are truly an opponent to be feared. Here's your payment. Of course she is. I hear the mining business is extremely cutthroat. And those hours, the murder. I could do this all day. Here's your payment. I don't like mimes, minstrels, thespians, acrobats, jugglers, troubadours, or tumblers. Flutists give me a headache. I particularly hate jesters. As a rule, I'm also not crazy about the corpses of old women. For the Night Mother, I'll make an exception. But Astrid is the only mistress I serve. You've got people to kill, my friend. Best get to it. Why are you looking at me like that? The Dark Brother... Oh, oh, I... My goodness, you're really here. The Black Sacrament. It actually worked? What I need, what I need is for Elaine Dufont to die. I want him hunted down and murdered like the dog he is. I didn't know it when we were with each other, but Elaine is actually the leader of a band of cutthroats. Bandits. They're holed up in some old dwarven ruin. Raldbathar. It's near Windhelm. They use it as their base. It's where they stage their raids. I want you to go to that ruin, find Elaine Dufont, and kill him. I don't care about his friends. Do whatever you want with them. But Elaine has to die. Excellent. Once Elaine is dead, I'll pay you. In gold. I've saved up a bit. I hope that'll do. But, well, there is one more thing. If you're interested. If you can, I want you to kill someone else as well. You don't have to, not as part of our deal, but if you do, I'll pay you even more. It's Nilsine Shattershield in Windhelm. If Nilsine dies too, I'll make it worth your while. I planned to kill Elaine myself, you know. Nilsine too, but lost my nerve. I even brewed a special poison, Lotus Extract. Maybe you could use it? Just coat your weapon with it, then... You get the idea. Make them all pay for what they've done to me.
Well, what news? Is Elaine... Thank you. That bastard got exactly what he deserved. And... I heard about Nilsine. You have more than fulfilled your part of the bargain. Please, take this. As payment, and a symbol of my affection. I'll never forget you. Ah, you're back. So, how went your first real contract? A bit more exciting than what Nazir's been offering, I'd wager? Of course, dear, of course. And from what my little ravens tell me, you handled yourself quite well. Now, I need your assistance with a matter of a more personal nature. It's Cicero. Ever since he arrived, his behavior's been... Well, erratic would be an understatement. I do believe he is truly mad, but it's worse than that. He's taken to locking himself in the Night Mother's chamber and talking to someone in hushed but frantic tones. Who is he speaking with? What are they planning? I fear treachery. Maybe so, but healthy paranoia has saved this sanctuary before, and my gut's telling me that demented little fool is up to something. Come now, what everyone else is saying. Dear brother, I need you to steal into that chamber and eavesdrop on their meeting. It'll be no use clinging to the shadows. They'll see you for sure. No, you need a hiding place. Somewhere they'd never think to look. Like inside the Night Mother's coffin. When I become wolf, I am treachery incarnate. And then, then Be that as it may, we have no other choice. You need to remain unseen. Now go, before they meet, and report back to me with whatever you learn. Stay safe. Shadow scales are all but forgotten. An ancient tradition. From another time. You're joking. While I can understand if some family members wish to honor the old ways once more, surely no one would oppose Astrid's rule. It's been quite a boon, looking like a child. No one ever suspects a thing. Oh, well, I hope she doesn't suspect me. I mean, I've spoken to Cicero a bit, and he's quite charming, but I never go against Astrid. Never. Can't wait to hear all about the next person you murder. <laughs> Need something? <laughs> and would that surprise anyone? The sanctuary's a mess. Wouldn't surprise me if somebody's talking to the fool on the sly, making deals. And no, before you ask, it's not me. I know which side my bread is buttered on. Remember, fireballs. You can never go wrong. Death is but the time to sleep forever in the void. To what end? Usurping Astrid's authority as leader of the sanctuary? Hmm. Yes, I can see her concern. Thank you for bringing this to my attention. Kill well, and often. Still here? What's the matter? Can't handle what I'm throwing your way? Does she? Listen, brother. Astrid is my mistress, and I worship the ground she walks on. But this Cicero business has her a bit... paranoid. She said that? If I find anyone working against my wife, or the Sanctuary, I'll beat them to death with their own severed head. Of course, they'd probably already be dead. But you know what I mean. Kill well, and often.
Hello? Yes. <laughs> No one will hear us, disturb us. Everything is going according to plan. The others, I've spoken to them, and they're coming around, I know it. The wizard Festus Crex, <laughs> perhaps even the Argonian, and the Unchild. What about you? Have you... have you spoken to anyone? No? No, of course not. I do the talking, the stalking, the seeing, and the saying. And what do you do? Hmm? Nothing! Not... I'm angry. Oh, never. Cicero understands. <laughs> Cicero always understands. And obeys. You will talk when you're ready, won't you? Won't you? Sweet night, mother. Poor oh, Cicero. Dear Cicero. Such a humble servant. But he will never hear my voice. For he is not the listener. Oh, but how can I defend you? I exert your will if you will not speak to anyone. Oh, but I will speak. I will speak to you. For you are the one. Yes, you. You who shares my iron tomb. Who warms my ancient bones. I give you this time. Journey to Wallen Road. Speak with Armand Mortier. Poor Cicero has failed you. Poor Cicero is sorry, sweet mother. I've tried so very hard. But I just can't find the listener. Tell Cicero the time has come. Tell him the words he has been waiting for all these years. Darkness rises when silence dies. What? What treachery? Defiler! Debaser and defiler! You have violated the sanctity of the Night Mother's coffin! Explain yourself! Speak, worm! She spoke to you? More treachery. More trickery and deceit. You lie! The Night Mother speaks only to the listener! And there is no listener! She... she said that. She said those words to you. Darkness rises when silence dies. But those are the words, the binding words, written in the keeping tomes. The signal so I would know. Mother's only way of talking to sweet Cicero. Then it's true. She's back. Our lady is back! She has chosen a listener! <laughs> she has chosen you! <laughs> All hail the listener! <laughs> My Sithis, this ends now! Back away, fool! Whatever you've been planning is over! Are you all right? I heard the commotion. Who was Cicero talking to? Where's the accomplice? Reveal yourself, traitor. I spoke only to the Night Mother. I spoke to the Night Mother, but she didn't speak to me. Oh, no! She spoke only to him, to the listener. What? The listener? 
What are you going on about? What is this lunacy? It's true! It's true! The Night Mother has spoken! The silence has been broken! The Listener has been chosen! When I heard Cicero screaming, I knew you'd been discovered. I feared the worst. Are you all right? Then what in Sithis' name is going on? Cicero spoke to the Night Mother, but she spoke to you. Is this just more of the fool's rambling? What? So Cicero wasn't talking to anyone else. Just the Night Mother's body? And the Night Mother, who, according to everything we know, will only speak to the person chosen as listener, just spoke. Right now. To you? By Sithis. And? What did she say? Amand Motier? I have no idea who that is. But Valenrood. That I have heard of. And I know where it is. Hmm. No. No. Listen, I don't know what's going on here, but you take your orders from me. Are we clear on that? The Night Mother may have spoken to you, but I am still the leader of this family. I will not have my authority so easily dismissed. I... I need time to think about all this. Go see Nazir. Do some work for him. I'll find you when I'm ready to discuss the matter further. I have served Mother well, I have. <laughs> oh, well, yes, I did. I did indeed. I tried to listen, <laughs> tried so hard, but the Night Mother never spoke to poor Cicero. The silence became almost maddening. That was then, this is now. You're the listener, and the Night Mother chose you for a reason, I'm sure. Cicero will remain the happy keeper. Oh, the listener, well, listens. <laughs> the Night Mother speaks to you, guides you on your path. But when the Night Mother speaks, the listener must obey. You must. For her word is the will of Sithis, and Sithis is the Dark Brotherhood <gasps> incarnate. Ah! Surely you're pulling Cicero's leg! Wait, <laughs> the listener is serious. <laughs> oh. Well, of course, the Night Mother will speak to you again. She might speak now, or later, or... I don't know. But speak she will. The Night Mother is part of you now. You get to hear voices inside your head. The rest of us should be so lucky. Are you excited? Oh, you should be. Things are finally looking up. Brother? Well then, your timing couldn't be better. As it turns out, I've got two new contracts. One rather easy assignment, and another that should prove quite a challenge. Your first target is an orc bard named Lurbuk. The other is a vampire by the name of Hearn. Happy hunting. Go on now.
Is the line for my next performance starting already? <laughs> Come on, don't be shy. Plenty of room for everyone. Hmm, all right, how about this? Shadows creep, and, and phantoms leap. A man's got, he's got scared, and the demons dared to, uh, Visit upon him all which they feared. Brilliant. I know. It's a gift. This isn't a time or place for magic, or whatever it is Falion does. We need to talk. Look, something is happening here. I'm not sure entirely what that something is, but, well, we need to find out. If the Night Mother really did give you an order to talk to a contact, we'd be mad to ignore it. And I think we'd both agree, Cicero's brought quite enough madness to this sanctuary. So go. Go to Volenrude. It's a crypt, pretty far to the northeast. Talk to this Armand Motier, and let's see where all this leads, hmm? What do you want, Beef Roast? Uh-huh. The listener wants my counsel. I thought you were above the opinions of mere mortals, now that you commune with dead old women. Until next time, brother. Brother. Just remember Astrid's commitment to her sanctuary, to her family. A family that now counts you as one of its own. Honor Astrid above all others. Until next time, brother. If the Night Mother truly spoke to you, if you really are the listener, your destiny is written in the void. Astrid is right to fear your power. Yes, yes, I'm your brother, and I'm supposed to greet you respectfully, so hello! There, satisfied. So you're the listener, eh? Well, that hardly seems fair. You just got here. The Night Mother should have spoken to me. Any idiot could see that. But I will serve gladly, as that's my lot in life. Now, let's see. Yeah. Volenrune. Well, that's an old crypt, infested with Draugr. So, plan accordingly. No sarcasm this time. You faced a vampire and live to tell the tale. Well done. Wonderful. The only good bard is a dead one as far as I'm concerned. All that singing and mirth. Your payment, as per the usual. You may be the listener, or you may just be a lunatic who's started hearing voices. Either way, Astrid is still your mistress, not the Night Mother. The man you need to speak with, his name is Motier. That's a very old and powerful Breton family, firmly established in Sierra Dill. Most curious. Until next time, brother.
by the almighty divines. You've come. You've actually come. This dreadful black sacrament thing. It worked. Right then. You prefer to listen, is that it? Well, you must represent the Dark Brotherhood. I certainly wasn't expecting anyone else. So, I'll cut right to the chase. I would like to arrange a contract. Several, actually. I dare say the most important work your organization has had in, well, centuries. As I said, I want you to kill several people. You'll find the targets as well as their manners of elimination quite varied. I'm sure someone of your disposition will probably even find it enjoyable. But you should know that these killings are but a means to an end, for they pave the way to the most important target. The real reason I'm speaking with a cutthroat in the bowels of this detestable crypt, for I seek the assassination of... the Emperor. Oh, wonderful. You don't know how happy I am to hear you say that. So much has led to this day. So much planning and maneuvering. It's as if the very stars have finally aligned. But I digress. Here, take these to your... Uh, superior. Rexus! The items. Here. Here. The sealed letter will explain everything that needs to be done. The amulet is quite valuable. You can use it to pay for any and all expenses. You're back. Good. All right, so? Did you meet this motier? What did he want? You're joking. What's this? By Sithis? You're not joking. To kill the Emperor of Tamriel. The Dark Brotherhood hasn't done such a thing since the assassination of Pelagius. As a matter of fact, no one has dared assassinate an Emperor of Tamriel since the murder of Uriel Septim, and that was two hundred years ago. No, she certainly wouldn't. And, for whatever reason, she chose to relay Motier's information to you. I don't know exactly what's going on here, if you're the listener, or this is some fluke, or what, but what we now have before us... <laughs> You're damn right we'll accept it. If we pull this off, the Dark Brotherhood will know a fear and respect we haven't seen in centuries. You think I'd abandon an opportunity to lead my family to glory? But this is all so much to take in. I need time to read the letter and figure out where we go from here. And this amulet. Hmm... I'm thinking we need that amulet appraised. I want to know where it came from, how much it's worth, and if we can actually get away with selling it. And there's only one man who can give us what we need. Delvin Mallory. He's a fence, a private operator. Works out of the Ratway in Riften. Give me the letter. Bring Mallory the amulet. Find out everything you can and sell it if he's willing. He'll offer a letter of credit. That's fine. Delvin Mallory and the Dark Brotherhood have... <laughs> history. He can be trusted. If you're looking for conversation, the flag is in place. I have Stay no out of trouble. Murder's gonna be trouble. Oh, now you must be lost. Best you scurry off while you're able. The Ratway, well, it has a habit of swallowing up the uninvited. Oh. Oh, I see. Well, now, how is Astrid doing these days, huh? Tell her to stop by sometime. We can have a drink. Catch up. Nah, but we could discuss that later, yeah? What does the Brotherhood need? Let's see... Where, oh, where did you get this? No, don't answer. I don't want to know. This is an amulet of the Emperor's Elder Council, specially crafted for each member. 
were of a small fortune. Ain't something you give up lightly. Look, it ain't my business to tell the Dark Brotherhood its business. But if you killed a member of the Elder Council, you better believe... Buy it. This. An Elder Council amulet. Oh, yes. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, wait. Just one moment. Here is a letter of credit, usable by Astrid only, for any service or item I can provide, as per our standard arrangement. You bring that back to your lovely mistress, with my regards. Good, you're back. Well, what did Mallory have to say? Is the amulet authentic? The Elder Council? Oh, now that explains quite a bit. Motier, you naughty, naughty boy. Hiring the Dark Brotherhood to help you rise beyond your station. Delicious. Was Mallory willing to buy the amulet? Splendid. Then we're ready to begin. Or, more specifically, you're ready to begin. After all, you're the one the Night Mother spoke to. Now then, I hope you have something nice to wear, because you're going to a wedding. Well, more like the public reception. It should be a lovely affair. You'll mingle with the guests, eat some cake, stab the bride. Oh, yes. You've got to kill the bride. At her wedding. And they say romance is dead. Her name is Vittoria Vici. She oversees the East Empire Company's business holdings in solitude. The wedding is being held in that city, at the Temple of the Divines. Her death will cause an uproar, which is exactly what we want. Vici is likely to address her guests frequently, as is the wedding custom. Kill her when she does that, and I promise you a significant bonus. Now go, and give my best to the bride. This is a public kill. How you do it is entirely up to you. Arrow to the throat, knife in the belly. Your choice, so long as it's loud and messy. Because of the current political climate, people are going to assume the murder is related to the bad blood between the Legion and Stormcloaks. In any event, when Vici dies, it's going to be complete pandemonium. Best have your escape route planned out in advance. An excellent question. Vittoria Vici is the first cousin to our dear Emperor, Titus Mede II. Vici has obvious imperial connections. Her husband has ties to the Stormcloaks. Their union is a step toward reconciliation. So if there's a murder at the wedding, not only will it stall the peace process, it will send shockwaves throughout the entire empire. The Emperor's hand will be forced. He'll have to travel to Skyrim to deal with the aftermath. And he'll find the Dark Brotherhood waiting. <clears throat> he had a trip to Skyrim planned for months and cancelled at the last minute, much to his cousin's dismay. Seems the Emperor realized his presence would necessitate a more direct role in the ongoing hostilities. A role he was, obviously, unwilling to take. All that will change with his cousin's murder. Everyone will think it was motivated by the conflict between the Imperial Legion and Stormcloaks. And the Emperor will be forced to come clean up the mess. Off to solitude with you. Time to give the Emperor some real motivation to visit. No, oh, killing her will be easy. She'll be so happy she'll never see it coming. I should know. I killed a bride once. Who's our honeymoon? Tepid, I said. The bathwater should be tepid. Lukewarm is not tepid. Close, maybe, but there is a difference. 
stupid cow. It's no fair. I love weddings. Astrid should have given this contract to me. Instead, she's got me visiting cities and assessing security. How bored. But listen, I think I can help you. The wedding reception is outside the Temple of the Divines, right? In solitude? If so, the bride will probably address the crowd from the balcony. It overlooks the courtyard. Well, there's an old statue there. I've seen it. Hanging right over where she'll be standing. Old means weak. Weak means it could fall. Hmm? I hope you don't mind, but I took the liberty of surveying the site of the reception. There's a small parapet just opposite the balcony that would prove an excellent spot for a long-range kill. I left something there for you, if you're inclined to take that approach. There are, indeed. Three, to be exact. There's Dekas, a shipwreck scavenger. Mirandru Joe, a traveling caravaner. And Honoriath, a hunter. Happy hunting. Not those arrows dead center. The lives of your fellow soldiers are counting on it. Typical Imperial rot. You speak of Skyrim like you know the land. You know its people. You're from Cyrodiil. You know nothing about What an amazing day this has been. I hope you've been enjoying the festivities. I'm... I'm just so overwhelmed. Such kindness... for me. Oh! Well, you tell your Stormcloak friends hello right back at them. This is a day of healing. Legion, Stormcloaks, all are welcome here. Why, that's not the same thing at all. The Dominion was invaders, conquerors. We had to fight them to preserve our own way of life. My point exactly. Victoria did pretty well for himself, marrying that house here. Not a bad looking fellow at all. My nephew this wedding is boring. I wish they had jugglers. Not really. It's just a bunch of elders standing around looking important. I wish something exciting would happen. Sure, whatever you say. Bye. A marriage of both love and political advantage. A rare thing indeed. So far. I just hope things remain calm. Wine gets drunk, tempers flare. This may be a joyous celebration, but it's shadowed by a lot of animosity. But if I'm really lucky... Oh, thank you. Divines, bless your kind heart. Honored guests. My husband, Aesgir, and I... Go find your own wreck. This one's mine. What? Why? I, I don't understand. I've done nothing to wrong you. Please, mercy. <laughs>
You're making me nervous. Is there something you need? Is that so? We shall see, villain. We shall see. <laughs> the news is everywhere. Vittoria Vici, the Emperor's cousin, butchered at her own wedding. Well done. Let's see his eminence try to ignore this. With Vici's murder, you've started us down a path the Dark Brotherhood hasn't traveled in centuries. The assassination of an Emperor. And now your reward. A unique spell to summon a legend of the Dark Brotherhood. His soul serves us now in death, as his body once did in life. Ah, and of course, a bonus for killing Vici while she addressed her guests as instructed. Gold. Simple and pure. Spend it as you will. Now then, time to proceed to the next stage of the plan. Go and speak with Gabriella. She's been helping me arrange your next contract. Ah, you're back. It was good to fight alongside you. I'm sure people won't be forgetting that wedding anytime soon, hmm? Dear brother, I've been waiting for you. Your next contract awaits, as I'm sure Astrid indicated. With the Emperor's arrival in Skyrim now a certainty, the security service, the Penitus Oculatus, will need to begin its preparations immediately. Security is being handled by a Commander Morrow. Astrid and I have devised a plan to break the man, and in doing so, cripple the Emperor's protection. You are to slay the Commander's son, Gaius Morrow, and once he is dead, plant false evidence on his body, implicating him in a plot to kill the Emperor. He is set to leave the Penitus Oculatus outpost at Dragonbridge and inspect the security of each city in Skyrim. Go there now. Observe Gaius Morrow's departure and follow him. Waylay him in one of the cities and send his soul to Sippus. Once he's dead, plant the incriminating letter on his body and let fate take care of the rest. Oh, and one final thing. To earn your bonus, do not kill Gaius Morrow in Dragonbridge, or on the road. Kill him in one of the other major cities he'll be visiting. There, the body will be discovered quickly, as will the letter implicating Gaius Morrow in the plot to assassinate the Emperor. Do that, and Astrid has authorized me to grant you a rather unique bonus. It is a special token to be given to Olava the Feeble in Whiterun. Olava is an old and dear friend, and a powerful seer. The token entitles you to a reading of your future. It's an opportunity one should not pass up. Killing Commander Morrow would do no good. Someone would merely replace him. No, we need him to remain in charge, but distracted, weakened. Implicate and kill his son Gaius, and the Commander will be grief-stricken and humiliated, his family name ruined. The security plan will then fail. Best yet, the Emperor will be lulled into a false sense of security, thinking an assassination plot had already been discovered and foiled. You're part of a family now, Hamshank. I trust you, you trust me. Got it? What's the matter, listener? Night Mother not feeling very chatty these days? You need help from your flesh and blood lessers? You've gotta track a man, kill him, and then frame him for a crime. This contract's perfect. For me. Clearly, my lovely wife made a mistake. 
Yeah, good luck. Personally, I've always found Argonians to be incredibly unpredictable opponents. Especially near water. In any event, nice work. Here's your payment. Ah, so the hunter came to know the fear of the hunted, hmm? Your payment, my friend. Well done. Ah, well done, well done. Those caravanners can be an elusive bunch. Takes a fair bit of stalking to take one down. But then, that's half the fun, isn't it? Here's your payment. Well earned indeed. Just one right now, actually. I need you to eliminate an old woman named Agnes, a servant in Fort Greymoor. Need something? I've taken the liberty of visiting the cities and spreading some nasty rumors about Gaius Marrow to make his treachery that much more believable. Until next time, brother. Father, you worry too much. I'll be fine. I know you will, but all the same, remember everything I said. Stay alert, and when you get to the cities, make your observations and move on. I understand, but you're being paranoid. I'm inspecting security, not charging off into battle. There's not a lot that can go wrong. Son, when the Emperor's safety is concerned, anything can go wrong. Off with you now, and good travels. Farewell, Father. I'll return as soon as I'm able. Well, this is it then. Look after yourself, Gaius. You're doing your duty, and I'm proud of you, but you better come back to me. You hear? Oh, Fida. I may travel alone, but you know I carry you always in my heart. I'll see you soon. Keep back, citizen. I have important business I must attend to. What? Filthy assassin. We'll see who lies dead. Eat.
Ah, at last. I've been anxiously awaiting your return. Yes, I know. As does Astrid. You have done well, and have earned both your reward and a bonus, as I have mentioned. But you should know that we have a more pressing matter to deal with. It's... Cicero has been an incident. You should proceed into the sanctuary. I'll let Astrid explain. As I let the elixir do its work. You'll feel it. Ah, thank you, dear. You are most kind. The jester's cut feels as bad as it looks, I'm afraid. Damn it. This never should have happened. We knew better. We knew better, and still we let our guards down. Ugh! I'll admit, even I'm having a hard time disagreeing with you. Marrow is dead, I know. But we've got bigger problems right now. The fool went absolutely berserk. He wounded Vizara, tried to kill me, and then he fled. I knew that lunatic couldn't be trusted. Oh, it's true, I'm afraid. Cicero was a little whirlwind. Slashing this way and that. <laughs> it would have been funny if he weren't trying to murder us all. Don't forget the ranting and raving. About the Night Mother, how she was the true leader of the Dark Brotherhood. And Astrid was just a pretender. Look, we've got to deal with this situation. You've got to deal with this situation. I want you to find that miserable little fool and end his life. But first, find my husband. Make sure he's all right. After the attack, Onbjorn flew into a rage. When Cicero left, Onbjorn went after him. They disappeared into the wild. Search Cicero's room. Maybe there's something in there that sheds some light on where he might have gone. Let me know the minute you find something. I've got to see to Vizara and calm everyone down. Who's the fool now, hmm? Hush, Vizara. You were very brave. Astrid may well be dead if not for you. She's right. I'll be forever in your debt, dearest brother. Now be quiet. Just... just rest. Have you found something? Good, good. Does it say where he may be headed? The Dawnstar Sanctuary? Whatever for. Never mind, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. Now. Every moment counts. So I want you to take my horse. His name is Shadowmere. You'll find him outside by the pool. Let's just say he's... <laughs> One of us. Find Onbjorn. Make sure my husband's all right. And then, send that jester's twisted little soul to the void, in as many pieces as possible. No, nothing. At least, nothing I'm aware of. Well, if I'm being honest, I haven't exactly been discreet lately in expressing my frustration with this whole situation. Obeying the Night Mother, you being the listener, it's ridiculous. No offense. Cicero may have overheard me talking to one of the others about the Night Mother. It's possible I was not entirely respectful. But to go this far, to attempt to murder the leader of a sanctuary. Cicero must pay with his life. There is no other option. Look, the Dark Brotherhood is a family. This sanctuary is a family. And we've always welcomed those shunned by society. Werewolves, wizards, eternal ten-year-old vampires. What does it matter? In truth, 
I've rarely met a lunatic I haven't liked. Cicero's problem isn't his madness. It's an adherence to an ancient, outmoded way of life. The Night Mother's ways simply are not our ways. He just couldn't accept that. And now he'll have to pay the price. I took that prancing fool into my home, and this is how he repays me? Boy, did you miss all the excitement. <sighs> all right, so maybe I was wrong. Maybe Cicero coming here wasn't the best thing that could have happened. But even I didn't anticipate this. Well, you know the old saying, when life gives you lemons, go murder a clown. Burn that little Chester and I. Should have figured the little lunatic would completely snap. Going after Cicero now would be a fool's errand. That little jester is currently being digested in Arnbjorn's stomach. Mark my words. You've got people to kill, my friend. Best to get to it. I believed in Cicero, but he's betrayed us all. Cicero destroyed any sympathy I may have had for him when he wounded Vizara. Kill the fool and be done with it. Go. Do what has to be done. It only hurts when I laugh. <laughs> oh. Yes, do not underestimate Cicero. A man like that, small and foolish, is easy to mock. To underestimate. Don't make the same mistake I did. I feel only pity for Cicero. He must die, of course, but can any of us truly blame him for his actions? We mocked him, disrespected the old ways. Our actions were shameful. Surely the Night Mother weeps this day. Kill well and often. send you. Ugh, what gave it away? <laughs> yeah, gotta admit that little Chester's good with that butter knife. But don't worry, I gave as good as I got. In there, through the door. Some old sanctuary by the looks of it. I would have followed him, but I don't know the phrase. All right, you convinced me. Doubt I'd be much good to you anyway. The little fop cut me pretty deep. But I slashed him good. Pretty sure I severed an artery. Don't know what you're gonna find in there. But you can probably just follow the blood.
part of me. I surrender. <laughs> You prefer to listen, eh? Of course, of course, the listener listens. <laughs> a joke, a funny joke. <laughs> I get it. Then listen to this. Don't kill me. Let poor Cicero live. I attacked the strumpet bastard. I did. And I'd do it again. Anything for our mother? Return to the Pretender. Tell her I'm dead. Tell her you strangled me with my own intestines. <laughs> but lie. Yes, lie. Lie and let me live. Cicero has no fight left. In the end, Sithis will judge us both. Sorry, love, but I'm not a charity. Token, you say? Let me see. Oh, goodness me! You're a friend of Gabriella's, then. Well, I guess we both know why you're here. Hmm. Well, yes, yes, I... I surely can. It's not something I do lightly, mind you, and it's it's not as specific as you might want, but yes, I I will do this for you. Please relax. Free your mind. Yes, that's it. There's a cave. No, not a cave. A home. A, a place you feel secure. You will find safety there. Sanctuary. I see snow. Lit by the star of dawn. And you are not alone. There are others. A child of night. A stalker of the sands. Oh. But before you are family. There will be blood. Such blood. Wait, there's something else. A potential for adventure and wealth. It is a ruin, ripe for the plunder. Deepwood, Redoubt, far to the northwest. Through there is Hag's End, the last resting place of an assassin of old. A dark brother who bequeaths his ancient earthly possessions to you. No, no, that is all. Now, now, please. I find myself very weary all of a sudden. Thank you. 
Arnbjorn is safe, and for that you have my thanks. But what of the fool? Is Cicero dead? Excellent. Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. Tell you what, why don't you hold on to Shadowmere a while longer? He's a fine steed, and hasn't been ridden nearly as much as he should lately. And now that this Cicero mess has been mopped up, we can get back to the matter at hand, hmm? There's just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. Have you by chance heard of the Gourmet? Read his cookbook? It's become quite a phenomenon. The Gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. Festus has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering the identity of the Gourmet. You should report to him. Watch yourself out there. There you are. Took your sweet time dealing with Cicero, eh? Now let's get down to business. Astrid told you about the Gourmet, I hope. Quite so. But first, you'll need to learn who he is. Assuming, of course, that the Gourmet actually is a he. Could be a woman, for all we know. Don't be so petulant. In my, uh, investigations, I came upon this. It's a copy of the Gourmet's cookbook. <laughs> but not just any copy. It's signed, you see. Seems to be a message from the Gourmet to one Anton Varan. I've tracked Varan to the keep at Markarth. It would seem he's the cook. I believe so. Therefore, you are to obtain that information from Varan. Who the Gourmet really is and where he can be found. Oh, and when you're done with Varan, kill him. Loose ends and all that. Next, you'll have to... Are you still paying attention? Huh. As I was saying, you'll need to kill the Gourmet, of course. But what's more, you'll need to get his writ of passage so you can take his place. Oh, and if you can, hide his body. The longer it takes for anyone else to determine his real identity, the better. Now off with you. Uh, nobody knows his true identity. Well, nobody except Gaius Morrow, and <laughs> you've already taken care of him. Well, I do know the Gourmet was classically trained in traditional Breton cuisine in High Rock. So, that's where he must have met Anton Varan. In any event, our anonymous chef shares a passion for food with all of Tamriel. And that anonymity will prove the Emperor's undoing. Yes, don't kill the Gourmet. Oh, I know you have to, but it makes me sad all the same. I love the Gourmet's recipes. The world will soon be a blander, less flavorful place. You've been directed to dispose of the Gourmet's body, is that correct? I often find water to be a suitable hiding place. A lake, a pool, a sea. Believe it or not, Festus likes you. He senses your power, your potential. Follow his instructions to the letter, and you may even earn his respect. Don't worry, my friend. I'll spare you the facetious quip about killing a defenseless old woman. Infiltrating an occupied military fort and making it out in one piece is nothing to joke about. Well done. 
your payment for services rendered. So, is it true? You must well, yes, two of them. But you're reaching the end of what I have available. Your targets are a dark elf wizard named Malaril in the dwarven ruin of Mazinshaleft, and Helvard, the housecarl of Falkreath. Kill these two, and I'll have one last contract to give you. I'm just finalizing some details now. Yes, for the hundredth time, I am a Breton. I was born in High Rock, and then I came here. I am not a Reachman. Who are you? What do you want? The... the Gourmet? Never. I don't know what led you here, but nothing will betray my trust. 
I'll take the secret of the Gourmet's identity to my grave. The Dark Brotherhood? Now, now, wait a minute. Let's not get hasty. I mean, surely my friend wouldn't want me to endanger my own life, right? Look, his name is Balagor Gronolob. He's an orc. The Gourmet's an orc. He's staying at the Night Gate Inn. That's all I know. Now, now you'll let me go. Okay, all right. Wonderful. You're welcome. I'll just be on my way then. Whatever it is, I'm sure I can't be of help. I'm just here on holiday. What? The Emperor? But I... I... Oh. Oh, by the gods. No. No, no. You can't do this. You can't. Be careful. No! And the gourmet? So I gathered. It seems a certain orc has disappeared. Which means you not only killed the gourmet, but disposed of the body as well. Oh, you've got the writ of passage too, I see. Splendid. Splendid! Ah, and word has come in from Margarth that the Keep's cook has met an untimely demise. You performed your duties to the letter. <laughs> I was wrong about you. I see that now. Maybe we all were. Here's your payment. And a little something else as well. From me. Consider it my way of apologizing. For being so damn curmudgeonly. It's called the Night Weaver's Band. I wore this for years. I want you to have it now. It'll give your magic and sneakiness some much-needed oomph. Now you'd better get a move on and see Astrid. It's time. Time for the final stage of this grand and glorious operation. So it's done. You've killed the Gourmet. And now, Titus Mead II is as good as dead. Oh, yes. And I've decided you will have the honor. Yes, for Sithis and the Night Mother. You are the listener, after all, hmm? So let's not waste any more time. Go now to Castle Dower in solitude. Present the Gourmet's writ of passage to the officer in charge, Commander Marrow. I'm sure you remember him. You'll gain unrestricted access to the kitchens, and then the Emperor. You're posing as a chef, so you'll be able to poison his meal rather easily. Here, take this. It's called Jaren Root. All it takes is one taste, and the effects are quite immediate. The Emperor will be serving Sithis before he even knows he's dead. Once Mead has been killed, Escape through the upper door and across the bridge. I've arranged for it to be unguarded once the alarm is sounded. Now go, my friend. Go and fulfill your destiny as listener.
It took all the favors, bribes, and blackmails I could muster, but I've secured your exit out of the keep. Just follow my instructions, and the Dark Brotherhood will be back on top. All thanks to you, listener. Stay safe. Astrid has arranged for your escape, no? Then you have nothing to worry about. Get in, kill the Emperor, and get out. Then, we celebrate. Oh, good to see you, brother. Gearing up to kill the Emperor. <laughs> Exciting times. Exciting times, indeed. Well, while it's true, I prefer sorceries more destructive nuances. We mustn't forget the many spells with simpler, more practical applications. Sure, you could poison the Emperor, but what then? Why not summon an Atronach to cause some chaos? Or turn invisible and slip away? Use your imagination. What an honor. The assassination of an Emperor. And all because you are the listener, favored by the Night Mother, anointed by Sithis. I'm so very happy for you, if not a bit envious. Don't take any chances with this one. Use the jar and root to poison the Emperor's food. You're disguising yourself as a chef. It only makes sense. There you are. Look, I... I just wanted to say thanks for coming to find me back in Dawnstar. Crazy Chester finally met his match, am I right? You get to kill the Emperor. The bloody Emperor. You'd better enjoy this one. You owe us all that much. So make it bloody, painful, and spectacular. Stay safe. I hope the elf didn't give you too much trouble. I once got set on fire by a sorcerer. Nasty business, that. But I digress. Here's your payment. Hmm. Well, that's sure to throw a branch into Falkreath's well-oiled political machine. Here's your payment. Well earned, as always. Hmm. Yes. Yes, I believe you are. Very well, then. You need to find and kill Safia, the captain of the pirate ship. Red Wave. The ship travels the northern coast and sometimes isn't even in Skyrim at all. So you'll have to be patient. Good luck. Ah yes, the pirate captain. A ruthless she-devil, by all accounts. Deadly with a blade. And let's not forget her crew. Loyal and bloodthirsty, the lot of them. This is my final contract, and certainly the most challenging. Be careful with this one, my friend. Let me guess. You have some business to discuss. Ah, I see. The old Dark Brotherhood's silent intimidation treatment. Oh, I know who you are. Don't be so surprised. You ain't the first assassin sent to kill me. Won't be the last. Now let's get this over with. Oh no, you don't! Stop right there. The tower is off limits until further notice. What's this now? Uh, 
Order of his eminence, possessor of these papers, the Gourmet. By Azra. The Gourmet? I... I'm sorry. Your clothes, of course. I... I should have realized. Please, excuse my ignorance. Gianna, the castle chef, has been eagerly awaiting your arrival. You should proceed to the kitchen straight away. Not another delivery. I told you people our stocks are fine. Now put whatever you have over there, then get out. The gourmet? Oh, finally. When I heard the gourmet was being brought in to cook for the Emperor, I could hardly believe it. It's just... You? You're an Argonian? Where did you learn to cook like that? Surely not in Black Marsh. Why, even the... Oh, yes, but of course. <clears throat> the Emperor has requested your signature dish, the Potage Le Magnifique. I've taken the liberty of getting it started. But the cookbook only says so much, and everyone makes the potage differently. I would be honored if we could make it the gourmet special way. The base broth is already boiled. We can get started right now. So, uh, which ingredient should I add next? Ooh, how decadent. I never would have guessed it. What next? Ah, of course. I suspected as much. All right, what next then? Really? Oh, I use Ninroot as a special seasoning all the time as well. What a wonderful idea. Okay, now what? Mmm, porker. So delicious, I swear. Is there a soul alive who doesn't enjoy the taste of... Sorry, I didn't mean to get carried away. There we go. One cup of diced horker meat. I have to say, the stew seems done. Add anything else and we may dilute the distinct flavors. So, is that it? Oh, what is this? Some kind of herb? Are you sure? The potage tastes perfect as it is. Any other ingredient might... <laughs> I'm sorry. Of course, it's your most famous recipe, after all. All right, then. Your secret ingredient's been added. And if I may say so, it has been an honor getting a chance to prepare a meal with, well, the best chef in the entire empire. I'll carry the stew pot and lead the way up to the dining room. I'm sure the Emperor and his guests are dying to meet you. Here we are. Gods, I'm nervous. We'll go in just a moment. Please, I'll serve. You just stand there and be amazing. An unfortunate turn of events, that. But an ironic incident. And I have been assured that the fault was with the man's son alone. Truth is, we are in no danger whatsoever. Killing an emperor can be useful. But befriending one? Now that's beneficial. As I'm sure you'd all agree. Aha! Here we are, honored guests. I present to you... the gourmet. Ah, the potage le magnifique. So delicious. My friends, as emperor, I of course reserve the right of first taste. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh how marvelous. Just delicious. It is everything I had hoped it would be. It... I... I think something's wrong. I...
That man was, by far, the most insufferable decoy the Emperor has ever employed. I'm glad he's dead. But I'm even happier that you killed him. You, an assassin for the Dark Brotherhood, just made an attempt on the Emperor's life. Would have succeeded had it been the real man. Surprised? So was I when a member of your family came to me with a plan. We worked out a deal, you see. An exchange. I get you, and the Dark Brotherhood gets to continue its existence. But you know what? I've changed my mind. How about this? I kill you, and butcher each and every one of your miserable little friends. Your sanctuary is being put to the sword right now. That's what I think of this deal. You killed my son. All of you. And now you'll pay the price. Kill him. Make sure there's nothing left to bury. Eat!
I'm going as fast as I can, you stupid she-devil. I don't see you helping. One more. You must speak with Astrid, here in the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Slow down. It's all right. You've been through a lot. Maybe you should just sit down for a bit. She's here? By Sithis, I thought we'd lost her. Let's go! Sorry, the Penitus Oculatus. Mero, he said that by giving you to them, he would leave the Dark Brotherhood alone. Forever. Oh, my Sithis, I was such a fool. All of this, it's all my fault. You are the best of us, and I nearly killed you, as I've killed everyone else. Uh, yes. I set you up. I wanted you dead. I betrayed you, the Night Mother, and everything I hold dear. And now, Mero has betrayed me. I just wanted things to stay the way they were. Before Cicero, before the Night Mother, before you. I thought I could save us. I was wrong. But you're alive. So there's still a chance. A chance to start over. Rebuild. That's why I did... Uh, this. Don't you see? I prayed to the Night Mother. I am the Black Sacrament. I'm saying you were right. The Night Mother was right. The old ways. They guided the Dark Brotherhood for centuries. I was a fool to oppose them. And to prove my... <clears throat> sincerity, I have prayed for a contract. You lead this family now. I give you the Blade of Woe, so that you can see it through. You must kill me. Astrid did the right thing. And now it's your turn. End her suffering. Oh, Astrid. Astrid have done this to us. Strangely, I feel only pity for her. Astrid. By the sands, I still can't find her. Astrid is dead. It is as it should be. May she find redemption in the void. 
But while you live, the Dark Brotherhood lives. We must fulfill our contract. Emperor Titus Mede II must be eliminated. Speak with Armand Mortier at the Ballad Mayor in Whiterun. He will know the true Emperor's location. But first, inform Nasir of your plans. For you are the listener and must bind this family together. By Sithis, what a mess. I guess this is the end. What? Well, what did she say? Armand Motier? But that would mean... You mean there's still a chance? But how? Our plan has gone to ruin. Everyone is dead. The family. Hmm. <laughs> All right then. Go. Go, my listener. Find out what that slimy bastard Motier has to say. Then send the Emperor to Sithis. Ah, but when you're done, there's no use returning here, is there? I was thinking, the Dawnstar Sanctuary. We could make a proper home there. Listen, when you're finished with this Emperor business, meet Babette and me there. I'll find some way to move the Night Mother. But don't worry. Now go! And come back with a barrel full of gold, huh? Babette, my girl, pack your things. We're moving. What is it? I said I didn't wish to be disturbed. What about the sweet maiden fair from Hadleyshire? By the gods! You you're alive! But I had heard your sanctuary! Please! You mustn't think I had anything to do with that. I wanted the Emperor dead! The true Emperor! I still do! It was Morrow! He You mean after all that's transpired, the Dark Brotherhood will still Honor the contract? Why, this is astounding news! Wonderful news! The Emperor is still in Skyrim, but not for long. He's on board his ship, the Kataraya, moored offshore in the Solitude Inlet. But you must hurry. If you can get on board that ship, kill Titus Mede II as contracted, I will reveal the location of the dead drop that holds your payment. Ah, <laughs> yes. I can imagine you'd want to settle that score. Last I heard, he was at the Solitude docks conducting the Emperor's departure.
more, I prove Commander Morrow the fool. I told him, you can't stop the Dark Brotherhood. Never could. Come now, don't be shy. You haven't come this far just to stand there gawking. You and I have a date with destiny, it would seem. But so it is with assassins and emperors, hmm? Yes, I must die. And you must deliver the blow. It is simply the way it is. But I wonder, would you suffer an old man a few more words before the deed is done? You will hear me out then? Good. You will kill me. And I've accepted that fate, but regardless of your path through life, I sense in you a certain ambition. So I ask of you a favor, an old man's dying wish. While there are many who would see me dead, there is one who set the machine in motion. This person, whomever he or she may be, must be punished for their treachery. Once you have been rewarded for my assassination, I want you to kill the very person who ordered it. Would you do me this kindness? Well, perhaps you'll at least consider it, hmm? Now, on to the business at hand. Ha! You're back. I know, I know! I received the news not moments ago. Ha <laughs> ha! This is glorious! My friend, you may not realize it, but you have served the Empire, indeed all of Tamriel, in ways you cannot possibly imagine. Ah, but you care little for politics, am I right? You want money, and money you shall have! Your payment waits for you at a dead drop. It is inside an urn, in the very chamber where we first met, in Volenrood. Now please, go. Collect your money. And let us never look upon one another again. Our business, thank the gods, is concluded. Your payment awaits. And don't worry, I'm not stupid enough to betray you. And what might that be? Oh, you assassins in your riddles. It really does get very annoying, you know. Now, if you'll excuse me. But we had a deal! What was that? All right. You've had enough.
what word of the Emperor? Truly? Could you have brought us more wondrous news? Recent events notwithstanding, this is a happy day for us, my friend. Despite your misfortunes, you stayed true to the Dark Brotherhood. You've saved us all. And for this, you have my eternal thanks. Now, of course, I must ask. Killing the Emperor, how much did Motier pay for such a thing? Ha! Remarkable. Well, the old bastard certainly made it worth your while, didn't he? Now, might I offer some advice? You should go to Riften and find Delvin Mallory. I believe Astrid had you visit him once before. Mallory is an expert obtainer of goods. We can use the money to repair and refit the sanctuary. Make a true home for us, huh? You do that, and I'll see what I can do about recruiting some new additions to our family. It is done. Emperor Titus Mede II lies dead, and the Dark Brotherhood yet lives. But our work is just beginning. Approach me, listener, and hear my words. Listener! Oh yes, it is, Cicero. <laughs> you are a fool to spare me. What, did you think I would be grateful? Cicero should be listener, not you. Now, you will be dying. Ah! Gotcha! <laughs> oh, listener, you should see the look on your face! <laughs> oh, Cicero has returned! Not to kill the kind listener, but to serve until one of us dies horribly in service to our mother. Best friends, in the meantime, I'll make myself at home in the sanctuary. I'm sure Mother needs tending. Star Sanctuary. Is that where you lot are holding up? Uh, tell you what, it will cost you a lot, but I can help you out. What exactly are we talking about here? Banners, huh? Trying to pretty the place up. All right, you got it. Yeah, that will come in handy. An alchemy station. Maybe a little garden with some choice plants. All right. Consider it done. Yeah, we can do that. Uh, I'm thinking a sewer grate on the outskirts of Dawnstar leads to a tunnel, then inside. You'll be in or out, quick as a coney. <laughs> Chamber fit for a king and all that. Right, no problem. Give you a big bed, decorate the room real nice. Maybe even throw in a few extra baubles. Uh huh. Now, that's the dark brotherhood I know and love. This for business or pleasure. No one wants it matter. Right, I'll see that it gets done. I'm afraid that's it, my friend. I've done all I can. I hope the place is at least livable now. And, uh, good luck with your murders.
Listener, it's an honor to stand before you. As you wish, listener. By Sithis, now I am truly impressed. To kill a pirate captain on our own ship, no less, simply masterful. You've not only earned your payment, but my respect as well. And believe me, friend, that does not come easily. I'm afraid that concludes our business. You have exhausted all available additional contracts. But I'm sure you've got plenty to keep you busy right about now, hmm? Then, listener, Cicero will just carry on with what he was doing, until you say otherwise. Yet another child has prayed to their mother. Speak with the corrupt agent at the Penitus Oculatus outpost in Dragonbridge. Accept his gold, then kill the target. Hail Sithens. <laughs> 